we will see a step by step approach to perform a topical fake emulsification in this video with highlight of fine tips for improvement of surgical efficiency whenever we do a topical surgery we make sure that the patient has been made aware of how to fixate on the microscope light while making the main wound it's a good idea to use a blunt instrument at the opposite side to make the eye stabilized once we are putting the viscoelastic in the eye it has to be ensured that the viscoelastic while being instilled in the eye the scleral lip is dipped so that the aqueous can freely flow out while the viscoelastic fills the anterior chamber there should be no pockets of aqueous retained within the viscoelastic this make sure that while you're doing capsular excess there are no jerky leakages of those aqueous pockets and also no need to frequently refill viscoelastic in the eye again and again for starting capsular excess we make a straight linear cut approximately 2.5 mm in length and do a circumlinear tangential motion regrasping the tearing capsular edge 1 mm away from the advancing edge to create a circular wound let us see that again in slow motion we aim for the central purkinje reflection of the microscope to keep it at the center of the capsular axis this ensures centering of the capsular axis on the visual axis of the patient once this is done the capsular axis edge is inverted and the tearing edge is regrasped each time approximately 1 mm away from the tearing edge and rotating the capsular six edge in a tangential manner and finally joining it at the starting edge once that is done we now proceed to do a hydro procedure before we do that we empty the viscoelastic we make sure that we just go under the capsular axis to do a cortical cleaving hydro dissection in two directions once that is done we depress the cataract down and move it sideways to further ensure that the fluid wave has traveled behind the cataract and between the capsule tore two to three free rotations of the cataract this makes the surgical maneuver of chopping also easy and also make sure that the loose cortical matter around the cataract will not trouble us and irrigation aspiration will be done much faster topical surgery we get the patient accustomed to the feel of the water on the eye so that while doing the chopping the patient doesn't move eye from left to right once our chopper and our phaco tip is inside the eye we aspirate any loose cortex or cortical plate onto the nucleus to give us a real depth and feel of the nucleus we identify the nucleus hardness and change the phaco power accordingly once that is done we impale the nucleus with the phaco tip and do a straight peripheral chop doing a linear and a an horizontal chop at the same time once we get a clear chop we again rotate the d segment and ensure two equal pieces of the d segment and we aspirate that piece pull it into the pupillary zone and do a phaco emulsification the same procedure is repeated for the other segment at times if you feel that removing that particle is a little bit tricky it's not a bad idea to rotate the other half and again chop that into two fine clear pieces once you have these small fragments which are easy to remove out of the capsular axis especially if the capsular axis is small it's a good idea to make smaller fragments which are easily delivered out of the capsular axis into the pupillary zone we will pull out one fragment at a time and do a phaco emulsification in the pupillary zone this is a grade 2-3 cataract hence can be very easily emulsified while doing it in the pupillary plane for doing the cortical aspiration we again enter inside the eye since this is a myopic eye the patient may feel slight wincing or slight pressure on the eye when the chamber suddenly deepens we make sure that we tilt the irrigation port toward the loose fragment of the cortex and once we have held it we slowly rotate till the irrigation port faces the microscope or faces the roof of the operation theater and we slowly floor the uh, 
FACO pedal to increase the vacuum and aspirate the whole uh, FACO cortex. Now inserting of the eye well is done by stabilizing the eye with one instrument in the side port and slowly pushing the eye well using the wound assist technique. We keep pushing till we see 2 by 3rd of the eye well which has entered the eye. Once that is done so, we wait for the eye well to open slightly. Once it is done, we then slowly nudge the partial unfolded eye well into the bag, rotate it at an angle. We normally rotate in our case a 0 180 degree because we feel that this further reduces the dysphotopsias for the patient. Once that is done so, we go on the irrigation aspiration mode on a visco removal mode, approximately 500 mm of vacuum and suck out the visco elastic which is now roaming freely in the eye around the eye well and behind the eye well. Sometimes some amount of visco elastic can be stuck behind the eye well. We in such situations would want to dip the scleral wound and push with a 27 gauge needle and push out any viscoelastic which is retained behind the eye hole. The end point in some cases would be a straight stretch line seen on the posterior capsule after this is done. In this case you will realize we do not need to hydrate the main wound. A slight pressurizing of the anterior chamber through the side port does the job and the surgery is over. Thank you.